Hello, welcome to DIY Design by CCW. Thank you so much for tuning in and I thank you for clicking on this video. Well, as you can see, I am about to do a DIY for you and it will be a glam DIY. Uh, of course, I am going to paint. I'm going to be working with a new paint uh, color and I'll make sure that I leave this color down in the description box. And I may even add a second color, but I'm not sure. Um, now, if you follow this channel, then you know this is what I'd like to do on this channel. I love to take thrifted pieces uh, and Dollar Tree pieces and make them over with paint. Now, before I uh, do any painting, the first thing I do is thoroughly clean my pieces. I wash them, of course, with soap and water, and then I use alcohol to make sure that my paint will adhere. Now, before I begin this painting process, and as you watch me do the cleaning here, I want to let you know that this video is a part of a collaboration. I am a member of the Glam Elegant Living Society, and this is our Glam Elegant Living Collab Fall Edition 2021. Now, I have left links to all of the ladies' channels down in my description box, but I want to make sure that I also mention their names. Uh, Glam Elegant Living is our main host. That is Lady Alley. Then there is Petal of Petal is Bless DIY. Cheryl of I Style My Style. Internet of Internet Decorating. And myself, I am DIY Designed by CCW, and my name is Candy. Now, we come together once a quarter, and we do a collaboration, and this is an open collaboration. So, if anyone out there would like to participate, please feel free to upload your video. Now, I've left a link to all of the channels, as well as a link to the playlist in my description box and I hope that you will go and visit all of the ladies. I promise you, you will not regret it. You're going to see tablescapes, DIYs, uh, home decor videos. The bottom line, everything you see will either be glam or elegant or glam and elegant. All right, guys. Now I'm going to get back here to the DIY and explain to you what I'm doing. So, guys, this is my first time working with a color like this. Normally, I work with muted tones and earth tones, uh, but several of you have asked me many times if I would do something in red. Now, there was a time when I had red all over my house. Uh, it used to be one of my accent colors, and I still have it in my den, but most of my house, I've changed uh, the accent color. So, since you asked, I thought, you know what, why don't I do it? Let's see how this turns out. Again, this is my first time using this color, but we'll see, um, you know, if I like it and if you like it. All right, guys, so now, um, what I did is paint all of my pieces uh, three times, or three <laughs> with three coats. Uh, again, if you're doing this and you're painting, make sure that you keep your brush strokes even, you let your paint uh, coat or your coats of paint dry in between um, at least an hour to two hours for this particular paint um, that I used in this DIY. And uh, the longer you can let it dry between coats, the better. All right, guys, now let's go ahead and get to the embellishment. Now, um, as you can see, I did end up painting also, the bases of the Dollar Tree candle holders, I kind of did that off camera, uh, but what I did is just paint underneath each of the bases um, so that I'll have that little pop of color uh, when we get ready to glue everything together. And what I'm going to do now is just add some embellishment to these candle holders. So again, these little containers that I'm going to use as candle holders, uh, they come from uh, Dollar Tree, as do the bases. So for the first thing I'm doing is I'm working with, this is a different sort of fabric trim than what I would normally work with. Most of my fabric trims come from Joann Fabric. Um, this one is a lot stiffer and a little bit more difficult to work with. I, what, I did buy more of it and I was actually going to use it in a few more places. 
uh, on uh, these pieces. But after rimming out these candle holders, I decided that it was just a little too stiff for this kind of project. Uh, it is really an iron-on, you know, fabric trim, and I can see why it would work as an iron-on, but in this case, you know, it just didn't work for me. So I'm going to let you watch me do this part, and then I'll be back in just a little bit when we move on to the next part of the DIY. So now that I have the uh, fabric trim attached and glued down to the bottom of the cylinder uh, or the container, I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece of fabric trim to go around the top. And uh, I was originally going to use the trim that again that I that I used around the bottom, but it was so difficult to work with. I just decided not to use it. Um, in fact, I won't be using that anymore. I may use it as an iron-on because I did buy another pack of it, but I definitely won't be using it uh, in this type of DIY. All right, so now once I uh, get this all cut to size, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut a second piece because I know that I'm going to do two of these. That way, when I get to the other piece, I'll already have a, a piece uh, pre-cut. Um, and then I'll glue this on and uh, once I do that we'll go ahead and add a little bit more embellishment. Now I'm using my E6000 quick hold glue for this. Uh, you'll note that I put the glue on and then I use a little piece of cardboard to remove any excess glue and uh, just place it on my container. I'm being as careful as I can because when you are working with an item that you've painted many times, if you have to move something that you're gluing on, uh, it will mess up your paint job and you have to touch that up. So, which I do have to do that occasionally, but um, I really try to be careful and place it right the first time. All right, so now um, what I'm going to do is just cut another little narrow strip of the same bling wrap just to fit around the top of the trim that I used at the bottom um, and then once I glue that on um, I'll go ahead and add a little bit more embellishment.
So now if you follow this channel, you know this, but if you're new, you don't know it. I always use uh, brooches or something uh, to add a little bit of an impact or impact statement or focal point for my pieces. And uh, in this case, I'm going to use uh, a brooch. And again, I'll be using the same brooch on all three of the pieces in the set. There you saw that I was using a lid that I plan to use with this piece. I make, I'm at, I actually didn't make that lid to go with this piece, but I'm going to use it with the piece and you'll see that in the reveal. Um, now, uh, a couple of you had, or someone had mentioned to me or asked why I mix the hot glue with uh, the E6000. I do try to not put it in the exact same place because they had a really good point. If you put it in the exact same place, it kind of they kind of cancel each other out. So there you go. That's how it looks with my embellishment. And now I'm going to go ahead and glue on uh, the base. So again, doing the same thing, uh, I'm going to use a little bit of the E6000 Quick Hold, and I try to leave a couple of empty spaces or blank spaces where I put a little bit of the hot glue just so that I get a faster, stronger hold. All right, guys, so now we're going to move on and we're going to do the vase. You know, I do really like this color. It's bold um, and much more, like I said, very different than what I typically do. I usually go for muted um, colors and earth tones and, you know, I'm more about the blues and the greens and the coppers and things like that but again a few of you had mentioned that you wanted me to work with red so here it is it might be the only time I do it but uh, here it is but I do like this vase and I think it will look very nice uh, in my on my second floor um, because again I still have some of the red elements from what I used to have in my house before I changed everything so uh, I think this will go either in my upstairs bathroom or maybe in my den. And just so you know, I do try to make pieces that I can actually use, you know, um, at least for a little while in my home. And, and rather than just create something just for the heck of it. All right, so here I'm going to be gluing on a little bit of embellishment. And I'm going to go light with it because, again, this vase, the color is bold enough. Um, but what I'm going to do is add a little strip of this um, fabric trim. Again, you guys know if you follow this channel, I love fabric trim. Uh, that it's a, it's a black and a silver trim that I think will go very nicely with uh, this color and will be a nice accent for this color. So I'm going to glue a little bit around uh, the waist area of the vase. And if you follow this channel, you know it. Know this. If you don't, I'll just tell you, uh, forgive me guys if I'm repeating this because I know some of you have heard this many times. But I do look at these ginger jar vases and many of the vases I do as dresses I mean when I'm when I'm decorating that's that's what I have in my mind I think of a fancy ball gown or something because they do kind of have uh, a feminine shape all right so now uh, I've added a strip to the waist area now I'm going to cut a strip to add around the foot area of the vase then I'll go ahead and add a little bit of embellishment around the top of the vase and, uh, and of course, we're gonna do a little bit more bling.
So now uh, what I'm going to do is add just a little more bling to the base. First, I'll start by layering the waist area of the base with another piece of bling wrap. This is uh, more of a rhinestone uh, trim and uh, rather it's, I call it bling wrap, but it is a fabric trim. And uh, it's one that I work with a lot on my channel, but I'll make sure to leave that information down in my description box. Now, I probably could have just left it as it was, but I just decided that the face needed a little bit more. Um, again, didn't have to do it. If you were to do this, you might leave it just like this and, and think it's just fine. The black and the berry or the red color is probably enough but uh, again I want it just a little more bling um, and then once I apply this fabric trim uh, and get this glued on uh, I'll go ahead and add my brooch now for this I'm just trying to make sure that I line it up properly I wanted it dead center of the fabric you know of the uh, trim that was already on the vase and um, that's what I, I think I was able to do that and to line it up properly now, um, once I get that attached, I'll go ahead, like I said, and work on the brooch. So again, here's the brooch. And uh, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of uh, E6000 and a little bit of the hot glue. And uh, once I get that in, I'm, what I'm doing now is just trying to see where I want the brooch and where it actually is going to touch because it doesn't lie completely flush against the vase so that I get my glue in the right place. And also, I really try to not let the hot glue and the E6000 quick hold touch because they can kind of cancel each other out. Um, I put them strategically though so that I get the best hold and the fastest hold I can possibly get. All right, guys, so once I do this, hang on because it'll be time for the final reveal. All right, everyone, this is how the set turned out. Um, you know what? It's different, but I think I like it. There is a close up of the vase, and uh, there is a close up of one of the Dollar Tree cylinders that I think I'm going to use as, as a storage containers. Um, now let's take a little bit closer look at everything. Um, you know what? I think I, like I said, I think I do like this set, even though it's bold and a little different than my normal sort of muted um, tones and earth tones that I typically work with in my DIYs. But um, it is definitely glam and uh, I think I'll be able to use it at least in my second floor where I still have a little bit of red um, but again I think it's I think it's nice I do see a couple of little areas because I'm a perfectionist and I always see when I look at these uh, final reveals little areas where I can improve something but overall I think I do like it please let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, please don't forget to go and visit the ladies who have participated in this collaboration. Remember, we are the Glam Elegant Living Society, and I've left links to all of the channels, uh, all of the other ladies' channels down in my, play, uh, in my description box, as well as a link to the playlist. Um, also, please go over and visit my other channel, which is Tablescapes by Candy. I also put a video up uh, on that channel a little bit earlier tonight uh, that I hope you'll go and watch. And uh, I'll make sure that I link the uh, videos that you're going to see in a little bit, some pieces that I did um, in other, you know, DIYs that I did, like I typically would show you. And uh, you're going to see those here in a second. I think we're going to pan around and look at those pieces. Um, here we see this is a Dollar Tree set that I did a couple videos back. Uh, there are apothecary jars that I can, and actually I'm using them already uh, in my uh, uh, guest bathroom. Um, but they're, they can hold makeup brushes, they can hold Q-tips, you know, cotton balls, whatever you like. Now this 
what we're looking at now is an earlier DIY. I call them my chandelier candle holders, and I'm actually going to be duping those very soon because I've come up with some new techniques since I did that DIY, which was uh, many months back. It was an earlier DIY. Uh, again, there's a closer look at the uh, uh, Dollar Tree Apothecary set, and uh, a look at the other candle holder. And uh, I think in a second here, we'll look at the other Dollar Tree Apothecary piece there in the front. And um, that's it, guys. That's really all I have for you today. If you stay with the video to this point, I thank you so much. If you're not a member of the channel, I really hope you'll subscribe today. Um, I would love to have you be a member of the family. And please make sure you go over and visit my other channel, which is Tablescapes by Candy. So again, I thank you so much for watching. And you know what I say, because I say it at the end of every single video. I can't wait to see you, each and every one of you, in the next video. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Or a wonderful night. Bye-bye.